Well, now to an update on a story 10 Investigates has been covering for the past three years. A judge made it official today, dismissing 11 of the 25 murder charges against former Mount Carmel doctor William Husell. He's accused of killing his patients by ordering potentially fatal doses of fentanyl. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haverly talked with family members of some of those 11 patients whose cases were tossed out. He is live now with their details. Bennett. Andrew and Yolanda, the families of these patients have been on a bit of a roller coaster from being told by the hospital that their loved ones may have received too much medication to being named as victims in this criminal case to now being excluded. I adored my mother. You know, I don't know if you can see, but I look just like my mom. And my children look like my mom. That's Sean Thomas, the son of Jan Thomas, one of 11 patients whose stories will no longer be part of the criminal case against Dr. William Husell. The former Mount Carmel doctor is accused of ordering large doses of fentanyl be given to patients under his care. All who the hospital identified as receiving excessive or potentially fatal doses died. Prosecutors allege the amounts of the powerful painkillers shortened their lives. Husel's attorneys argue he was helping them avoid painful deaths. And I know, but I thank you for the attention you brought to it, to the case. So thank you, Bennett. Sean spoke to me from Maryland, where he expressed anger and frustration about his mom's case being dropped. Every time this is covered, she dies again. Every time her news, her name flashes in the story, it's back in the news, there's, a, there's movement in the case. She dies all over again. And now to, to, to hear that these cases, 11 of the cases, my mom concluded, were uh, dismissed, she's dying all over again. Prosecutors have declined to say why these cases were dismissed three weeks before trial. But a closer look reveals the majority of the 11 patient cases that were dropped got smaller doses of fentanyl compared to the 14 whose cases will remain. It's shocking that this is happening. It's shocking. I'm I'm completely shocked and, and and disappointed in the whole judicial system. She was beautiful inside and out, and she was just just her laugh, and I can hear it every single day, and I can see her face, and she laughed with her entire being, and she loved life. That's Jan's daughter Nicole on the phone. Jan Thomas died back in 2015. She was in the ICU. Three years would go by before the hospital would call and tell her relatives that she may have been given too much medication. Now her case and 10 others won't be a part of trial. It doesn't make sense. It's not enough. It was enough to kill her, but it's not enough to prosecute him. And that will be the central question in this case. Did the drugs, the amount of the drugs, kill these patients? Husel's attorneys have repeatedly said that's not the case, that these people were dying anyway. But the hospital did suspend and later fire Husel after questions were raised about his care. Mount Carmel has also paid out more than $20 million in legal settlements to these families. And Husel, who's pleaded not guilty, is expected to head to trial on February 14th. Andrew? Bennett, thanks so much.